battery. It is time to see if the bigger battery will work for this J7 Plus. Once again, this is a 6800 milliamp hour. This is a 2110, so this is over three times the size of the one that comes in the J7. Now why they couldn't put this big battery in there to begin with, I'm not too sure. But for $850, I think they really should have, or at least put in around four or 5,000 mAh. That would even make a huge difference, especially in the i7 or this J7. So I have no idea how this is gonna act. It might air out, it may not work at all, but we're gonna find out. This company was nice enough to send me this battery to test for you guys. And the, the company name is Cameron Sino. And then this is the model number on the top. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys would decide you want to buy one. And hopefully, I will recommend this to you guys. So if it doesn't work, obviously I'm going to show you. And I won't be recommending it at all, but here we go. Here's the little baby battery that comes with it. And now this one should slide right in. Click in with no issue whatsoever. Look at that. Whoop. Is that in there? Yeah, it's in there. Let me make sure. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't explode my robot. <laughs> so throw this back on. Screw her down. Simply five screws. And let's put this guy on the charger and see what it does. Oh, we gotta throw this back on too, don't we? What do you guys think? Is this gonna work? I hope so. Alright, let's drive it up there. We'll let this guy boot and then I will show you the app. Alright guys, this is definitely our first good notch uh, ready to vacuum charging so it, the, the battery itself is communicating properly with the J7 plus so that's very good news I'm gonna let this guy fully charge and then I'll send it out later today once it's fully charged and we'll see just how much longer the battery actually lasts and if there is any type of errors and uh, if I can recommend this battery to you guys I'd be pretty happy if this will go around and clean my entire floor plan on the one charge, which if the battery is truly 6800 milliamp hours, without a doubt it'll be able to do it. So pretty cool. Pretty excited to try this out. All right, everybody, guess what? It is time for the big battery challenge. It is fully charged. Once again, this is a 6800 milliamp hour battery. And I'm pretty excited if this does this all like I think it's going to without having to go back and recharge and no errors at all this might be a game changer for the iRobot unfortunately it's something you have to buy separate on your own but let's put it to the test here's the latest cleaning that it did three hours and 37 minutes let's see how much we can beat that by alright as you can see it's fully charged ready to vacuum and we are going to vacuum everywhere We'll keep an eye on it for a couple minutes, make sure it doesn't air out for some reason. And uh, then I'll update you when it's done. I really hope this gets it done with this one charge, which at that big of a battery, it should easily be able to do so. That's going to be very interesting. What do you guys think? Can we get this under two hours, perhaps? My main thing is just getting it done with one run. Two hours or less would be acceptable to me and change a lot about what I think about this robot. Appears to be working, I mean, just like the battery that's in it. Which it should, it's just a battery, but who knows what type of software they have built in 
to maybe detect a fake battery. I am going to let this guy go and clean. If it airs out or anything like that, I will grab the camera and show you guys. Otherwise, when it's done, I'll show you exactly how long it took. And we'll talk about if the battery's worth it. I will be back. All right, guys, I just got home. I got some information for you in just a second. I don't know if it's done, it just says returning home. Waiting for it to self empty and then tell me what's going on. Man, that's powerful. Sorry my battery died here, but you can see on the top right, it did it in two hours and three minutes. Waiting for the app to tell me exactly if it's done or if it's charging. I believe it's done. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. That makes me very happy. Thank you very much for that company to send that to me. I'll put links down in the description if you're interested in buying one. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted to finish this job on one charge, and we did it in two hours and three minutes. Now one thing I will say I noticed, because I've only had this new carpet for about a couple of months now, and I haven't really done a ton of testing on it, but I can tell by far these robots are a lot slower on this really thick carpet. I used to have real thin, kind of standard grade carpet that comes with everybody's house, and they could drive over it much quicker. So I have noticed some of my robots are slower than normal and that's due to the carpet. So the variations on the timing it's gonna take to clean your house compared to mine is gonna be very different. Like I said, if you have all hardwood floors, say, I bet you the standard small battery could probably do an okay size house. However, if you have thick carpet like mine and I have Probably about 50-50 on carpet and hard section. It's going to use up the battery quite a bit more, and I've noticed that on some of my other robots, even the Roborocks, that have a really good sized battery. So, so yeah, there you have it. The larger battery definitely makes a humongous difference. I was a little worried that it being an off, no-name brand battery, that it was going to air out or just mess up, or just, you know, just not simply not work with an iRobot, but it did. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing for me as well. I'd really appreciate that. And I'd love for you to join this YouTube channel. If there's any other tests you want to see with this particular robot or any of my other ones, definitely leave a comment and I'll try to make that happen for you. One of my next tests I'm probably going to do is now put up this bigger battery against the Roborock S7. And I'm going to send both of these guys out at the same exact time see which one can get done the quickest. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon.